Life Street Stars. Hold on, man. We got a motherfucking let situation go, let go, let go. in this hoe. P.R.E. Movement go. Paper Rail, goddamn Empire, Yo, motherfucker. Right we in this hoe, man. First and foremost, man. Uh, Y'all just rock that bitch, man. Yeah, hey, that for sure, for sure. Y'all step for down in the deep, man. Appreciate just fuck it. with the Hub Live, man. For those that are deaf, dumb, stupid, been living under a goddamn rock, man. Go ahead and introduce yourselves, man. Tell them where y'all from, man. Hey man, I'm from the bottom of Memphis, the trenches where the woods at, where the swamp and everything, yeah, man, Westwood. It's Next me. time in Mississippi, man, you hear me, the closest time in Mississippi. Jake Fizz. Yeah, it's your boy Big Moose, the grape, the gigantic grape, and I'm from East Haiti, East Memphis, you know what I'm saying? 3811 May, 3815, the god of this shit, you know what I'm saying? There you go, Big Moose, man. I, you know, just even talking about where y'all from, man, you know, y'all in Dallas, man, uh, and I like what you said as far as uh, I think y'all named it East Haiti because y'all just want to give it a name to make it a, uh, to make it you know just let a nigga know where y'all from. You know we have uh, North Afghanistan and you know stuff around here. Um, do y'all have to you be do you do, when you was coming up? Do you feel like you and your partners had to make it live up to the name that y'all gave it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He said yeah. We, it's that pressure. All day. Yeah, life was hard back then. Y'all niggas been through so much shit, but you know, Not nigga big here. Fan. Invisible man, you, you say you from the bottom, man. Yeah, where, where it's real, real, real rough at. Hey, some, some niggas don't know uh, how bottom, bottom is, man. Could you even tell the people, man, the fans at home, as far as this, just how, how bottom was from it for the you? Dirt, like, from the dirt, like, nigga want nothing, like, we ain't, we want even one of that, the smoke shit want nothing. They, we were playing with the white down there, you feel me? Oh, oh, yeah. This shit dirty, dirty down there. We yeah. down there with the trenches and them, but, Coke heads, you feel me? It's all down there. Niggas on heroin and shit, you feel me? Dog, you know how that shit go. Yeah. Down over the trench. That's crazy, man. Um, it's crazy because I was looking online and it said you were the first person to sign the PRE. Yeah, talk, yeah. Talk, this, talk. Shit, this shit, it ain't, I wouldn't even call it a sign. Like, nigga was born in this shit. Like, by yeah. my family, you feel me? Like, right. this shit ain't, this shit bigger than rap. You feel me? This shit, nigga, blood. This shit, all nigga know. Like, you can't hear about physical being nothing else. Like, it wouldn't even sound right right now. Yeah. You feel me? Like, it's paper out for life and, for me. And definitely, man, uh, you know, we're going to talk about it throughout, man, but RIP to God, man. RIP Dolph. Um, man, we're going to we gonna yeah, go all right through there, but you his, you his family family. Yeah, yeah his family family. Um, are you the only one that rap? Or was, is there other family members that, that yeah, didn't make it's, it? It's, 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 it's Glock. We no, 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 Glock. no. Of course, Glock. I'm talking about like the Glock. ones that the ones that we don't you see. You feel me? Like, we got other motherfuckers too. You feel me? Like, you feel me? We got Gates. You feel me? We got Shatana. No, we got a lot of motherfuckers, like straight family, you feel me? Like, really, Paper Rail ain't nothing but a big ass family, you feel me? Really, if you want to be technical about it. Now, now, keep it real. When you seen Dolph when he was like, 22 million, should I take the 22 million or fuck the 22 million? What was you thinking? I ain't gonna lie. See, I, it ain't like it. I won't like it, everybody else. See, I know everything he do is for a reason, so I knew it was a reason behind it, you feel me? Like, I knew it was. I knew what was gonna come behind. I'm like, oh yeah, bro, smart. He know what he doing. Yeah. You feel me? Like I already was a murder to this shit. I already knew what was going on. You feel me? When you seen, I mean, Dolph put in work for a long time. You know, like you know, I remember like independent underground songs from way back in the day. You know what I'm saying? They used to jam it, and it's just like he finally got that that break. Seeing that, did that push you to be like, man, I gotta really step my game up and really get out of here? I, I ain't gonna even like, I'm gonna be straight one thousand. Like, it was just so good. Like. Like, rapping on it, you know, my mind, bro, was just so turned up. I was just loving to be around this shit, you feel me? Like, like rapping wasn't even on my mind. Like, I was so caught up in doing other shit. Like, it was cool, you feel me? Like, it was something to do, you feel me? Because I'm already turned up. Everybody know their little feelings, you feel me? Like, yeah. but, you feel me? I got a whole lot of other shit going on, you feel me? So, you know, I was stuck doing some other shit. Our biggest facts. Now, Moochie, uh, man, you brought out the baby. Yeah, yeah. my son. Where in that motherfucker, man? Hey, um... You know, at the hub, man, you had said one thing that was, uh, you know, definitely uh, inspiring as far as with Dolph, man. He said, uh, even for you, that man was generous. So that man, you know, he had did a lot for you um, as far as just, you know, what people wouldn't see. Can you talk about one of those things that he might have did for you that maybe cameras never caught, you know what I'm saying, that just, you know, just being a real nigga, just, you know, looking out? Just giving a nigga game, letting a nigga know, like, what a nigga need to be prepared for, like, how life gonna treat a nigga out there, like, he changed the nigga life around, just... Whole lot of just, you know what I'm saying, life lessons, shit that uh, help a nigga grow older, you know what I'm saying, and survive through. A lot of niggas give out game, but I ain't giving that game like, bro, on my mama. Yeah. Now, biggest facts, uh, 
even now, you feel like you OG in the game now as far as everything you've seen from early on, kind of coming to now, like making it through all this shit? I've been OG before. Talk about it. Yeah. Talk about it. What is your, uh, do you feel like it's required for you to give back to young niggas coming up, uh, especially like Memphis, you know what I'm saying? Like, you yeah. feel like you need to talk to young niggas and just give them game? Like me, like, I don't know. I have talked to them, but you know, like some niggas hard headed, like how I was going one year after the other, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga go down instinct. Nigga, like, how the fuck are you 10 minutes? Like, but, you know, this shit this is how niggas get. But, yeah. me, like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm curious how you in, in ended up linking up with PRE, because I know you told a story about um you initially was about to get signed to Pee Wee Longway, which is another nigga to me that's super Nah, super I, I was never going to do that. He, right. like, he came to me, like, yeah, little bro, I want to sign you. Like, yeah. this my brother. I fuck with him, but, like, nah, like, I ain't. Yeah, so what? This shit, on my, this shit right here on my neck, this is the only way I was going. For sure. How, how did you end up linking up with uh, uh, PRE? Right here. Right. You know, dude, right here. Yeah. Well, that's crazy. You was it the music first? Nah, they like, nah, 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 been on each other before. Like, like, man, come on, man. Talk about like, it. Like, since kids. From like, school. Been, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I used to get this man put out of school. Like, I used to start <laughs> shit and he used to have to finish the shit. So you the reason. I just started the shit, you just have to finish the shit for a nigga, you feel me? Like, I go to Mooch, Mooch out, Mooch out, go out. Yeah. <laughs> Mooch out, then my big dog, you hear me? Then my big little dog, I'm older than him, but then my big dog, you feel me? Like, then my yeah. homeboy, you feel me? Like, yeah. yeah. I my nigga jumped day. out, you feel me? My nigga jumped out, and I knew I would turn, like, I wanted my dog with me, you feel me? Like, yeah. then my homeboy, like, then my dog, you feel yeah. me? Like, we been, we was cool in high school, then we lost contact with each other, then we, Get back in contact with each other and shit. We rock from there. Man, one thing about both of y'all, man, y'all y'all know how to make make a motherfucking song. Like y'all know how to get the right beat to y'all style, and that bitch gonna jam every shit, time. Shit, our big our big homie Flipper, man. Come on, man. We man, we're I'm talking this about shit. We're so, this shit. So give me like give me something that he gave y'all like as far as making music. Like what type of game did he give you as far as making the music? Picking the beat. I ain't gonna lie, we, we need to rap on anything. Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I got on no drugs. I just go in there and just start rapping, you feel me? But it's all about them picking beats. Like, you see what they said at the spot? Like, the production crazy. Like, yeah, nah. Every song. There was someone in the crowd that said, uh, man, I was, uh, shit, I was on your type beat. Went viral on that hoe. Yo, so the, the nigga came to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah the nigga said he went uh, on your type beat, went viral on the hoe. To even have that feeling as far as someone, you know, typing in, uh, damn, Moochie, uh, Moochie Grape. Or Jay Fizzle type beat and you know just going in on that. Whole, I mean, how does it feel to get that level with niggas trying to copy y'all's y'all's level of picking beats and shit? It's amazing. Yeah, we used to see do me the same like thing. I came in this shit with my own style, like, and they were break to tell me like, bro, you got your own style and you hard as hell, like you got to stick to it and start all your everything you do to start your trend with like the biggest. Like I've been saying this shit from day one. Niggas start saying that was the biggest, so I switched it up gigantic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Niggas can't say that, but you know I'm humongous too. So I, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. All in one. Now, so. now tonight, man, there was a crowd favorite. I think it was 50 freaky bitches. <laughs> How did y'all go? 50. Hey, that nigga Bay Bay brought hey, that bitch a, back at a, least 90 that's times. Original. That's original. <laughs> that's original. I ain't gonna lie. I swear to God, when I met anybody around, when I made this song, I called everybody on my phone like, "Man, daddy or everybody." I'm like, "Bro, this the one." Like this nah, gonna, that's her gonna nah. go crazy. Like. I'm, we were really, we were really already playing in clubs before it even came out, before the mixtape even came out. I was like, a lot of people didn't even know that I was already really playing it. Jumping, you feel me? Like, I ain't gonna lie. The one. I, I ain't gonna lie. I was just chilling, and the girl beside me, she couldn't control herself. She just started shaking her head. I'm like, damn, that's what it do to you. Like, I just knew, I knew exactly. <laughs> then I added who, my boy, I, my boy, I put my boy Harold on that joint. He was yeah. already going crazy in the city. Why'd you call the whole 50 50 freaky bitch? Yeah, why'd you call it? Yeah, like, why'd you call the whole freaky 50? 50? I can't say this shit. 50 freaky. 50 freaky bitch. Because that's how we got caught. Like, you know, mom would come with 10, 15. Who come with 50 though? That's excessive. You fucking it up for the rest of the niggas, goddamn. Yeah, it's all good though. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, play that situation. That whole lit, man. I also want to touch on Run, bro. Mucha, you got Dolph to bless that hoe, bro. My nigga, y'all niggas crashing that motherfucker, bro. Um. How many like how many songs do y'all having to took? I mean, between the both of y'all, you can touch on Run as well. As far as with Dolph and his legacy, the, the songs that his verses go on, like who's picking that? Like who has access to that? Is there more songs to come that you know is gonna be kind of feeding us for the next couple of years? I'm talking for me and Dolph. Yeah, for you and Dolph. Uh, for, for first and foremost, for Run, 
how that came together. But then it, the song's going forward. Like, any, it, 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 fun. It, fun. My bad. I said, run. So I'm uh, like, I'm and he's like, run, like nigga, where? <laughs> Now, nah, fun, yeah. So, how did that come together? And then, is there more in the is there more in the tub? Shit, fun came about. Shit, we was just in the studio. Where he was in the studio already, called me up there. Shit, I pulled up. He had the motherfucker playing. He was like, jump on it. Mm-hmm. Know what I'm saying like this. Is how he used to do it, like, Fresh. but like, like me and bro, like, like bro signed me, and like, we ain't started doing songs to like, like, like a little bit recently before he passed, like. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Man, I just want to know, how did, you got such a unique flow, bro. Like, see, so you'll like hit the beat, then you'll just start going, fa- like you just switch it up so crazy. How did you come up with that? Shit. That's just shit. something you just. That's the head talent, guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit is crazy. Do y'all have, uh, and Phil, you can answer this too, do y'all have uh, more songs in the tuck with Dolph coming up, coming on? Uh, we, got, we got plenty of stuff. I got yeah, some, yeah, yeah, I got yeah. some shit with him, then I, I ain't drop. Gonna lie, I got Carol. Yeah, like, like, is there a plan for either both of y'all to like, you know, again, whether it's six months out, a year out, a couple yeah, years out? Yeah, it's like, I ain't gonna lie, I go back here, you feel me? So I, I don't, I'm picking my own shit, you know, like, like, bro, you so, man, I'm down there producing my own beats down there, you feel me? Ask any producer tell you that, I'm down there, and they're making their own, man, or with them making the beats. Hell yeah. You feel me? Like, I'm put, I put this shit together, like, I'm, I'm like, bro, right now. I'm in my mode right now. I'm in my bag right yeah, now. For real. Nah, we see that shit too. Um, uh, before it's passing, man, did y'all, did, was there a game plan kind of laid out for everybody as far as what the plan was for each of y'all to kind of push this PRE movement forward? Yeah, it was, it was a big ass game plan. I ain't gonna lie. It was, it was a big ass game plan. I still didn't have my head on straight. I ain't gonna lie. I still didn't have my, I was still doing other shit. It just, Bro, passed, they made me, like, I knew bro, they would do what bro wanted me to do, you feel me? Like, so I just went out and put, went all the way in when bro passed on this shit. Like, a lot of motherfuckers see this shit. Man, uh, is it dangerous for a young artist to uh, start rapping in Memphis at this moment, man? Yeah, because you got to be what you, you got to stand on what you talking about. Yeah. Then when you hide, then you start the catching the bulls, you gonna, how you going to find a nigga that's going to diss you? Bro, you could so be, you gonna, you gonna you could be a nobody. You could be a nobody. Yeah. Where, where before you were rapping, I swear to God, when you start rapping, you get a buzz. You gonna be somebody out there. They gonna try to. You feel me? Memphis so small, it really don't take them down twenty minutes to get around the whole city. Niggas ain't trying to congratulate no nigga. They just really trying to find a flaw in the nigga. Like, the nigga you know, they man, did congratulate you, nigga. They really faking. Shit, you feel like. me? Like, so you saying that uh, y'all Memphis as a whole? Do y'all like as far as doing music and shit together? Is it is it linked up or y'all nah, separate? Not linked up. Why, why is it like that out there, you think? It's yeah. too much hate going on. You it's feel like that city. It's too much yeah, hate going like on. They feel like if you ain't over here, then you over there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie. It's a lot of you. motherfuckers be trying to reach out and shit now. They, they just on a nigga dick right now. You feel me? They just want to ride away right now. So, you feel me? They want to do this shit for bro. You feel me? So, I don't even... Is there any um, OGs from, you know, that have that mystique about them from back in, let's say, the 80s, early 90s that, like, got some say-so that's still around Memphis right now that could... Man, I don't know, man. I, I fuck with bro. You feel me? It was when I was young. When I was young, but when when I was young, I ain't know a lot of shit. So where I know right now, man, grow up, nigga, know a lot of shit about these folks. You feel me? Like, I think brother really nigga out the city to me. You feel me? Like, talk about that shit. Talk about. It. That's how I feel. Now we just left the hub, man, where y'all was able to play y'all music. Uh, most people haven't heard this these songs, and it was in front of a lot of DJs, man. Um, you know. What uh, Bebe was doing, what Bebe is doing in Dallas, as far as bringing artists like yourself to DJs and getting the music for them to take it out to the clubs. How important is that? Do y'all feel, or is that a dying art? As far as making sure the DJs get them, get them packs, get it out there, get to work. Yeah, this a this a must, especially if you ain't, especially if you ain't nobody, especially if you ain't got no bud. That's a must. You're like you gotta connect with these DJs. Like even when you eels up there, you still gotta. Like I said, you gotta be hungry. Like it ain't no letting up, even if you got it. Like, they ain't gonna never stop printing this shit, so you ain't gonna never be richer than the richest, you feel me? So, you gotta keep getting this shit. You gotta stay hungry. Facts, uh, uh, Mooch, I was gonna say, how do you feel about the situation as far as social media, you know, kind of taking over from what the DJs used to do to break artists? Social media kind of that, you know, motherfucker now. Like, how you attacking that shit? Like, say that again. How you attacking social media, man, yourself? It's a high attack social media? Yeah. Shit, I just try to keep them folks like loaded, like letting them folks know like 
I'm working, go live and shit every day in the studios and shit like that. Let them know, like, like the dude really grinding. You know what I'm saying? For somebody who's tapped in right now and, it, and probably ain't never just really tapped into y'all music, what's the one song y'all would say, this the first song y'all need to go jam from both of y'all? Every last one on. <laughs> <laughs> Paper riding. <laughs> Luminati nice. Hip-Hop. Nicely. 50 naked now. <laughs> 50 freaky bitches. Yeah, for sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. I'll be like, go play that 50 freaky yeah. bitches. <laughs> What's up next for y'all right now, man? Y'all, y'all out on roll right now. Y'all, y'all, you Deluxe. know. The deluxe. The deluxe? Oh, shit. Deluxe, Talk. tour dates. Tour dates. You know, yeah. I'm for the paint the world purple, really. I ain't gonna lie. Now, for real, speaking of tour dates, man, Um, the one thing as far as from where y'all come from, man, Uh, you know, it's a... It's a thin line as far as being accessible, staying in your city, and getting out that motherfucker moving around. Like, as an artist, and you know, this is more for education for young and it's coming up. How accessible do y'all feel y'all need to be to y'all's fans? Um, you know, like hitting the tour dates, going to city to city, shaking hands, getting out there. I fuck with out, man. Bro, without the fans, they ain't shit. You feel like they the ones who get out of these bridges up. They the ones who. Making us get jammed in the club. See the promoters ain't doing nothing but looking for who jam- who that who in the club bumping when the song come on. What everybody vibing to? That how they find out who gonna, who they gonna book. You feel me? You ain't fucking with your fan. I ain't fucking with you. Shit, you really ain't shit. That's this shit one hundred. Have y'all switched up as far as even how y'all moved? Um, how y'all be moving and stuff now? Just you know, by necessity, you got to be able to say, okay, you know, we gonna be out, we gonna be on the road, but yet. Let's move like this, cause you know you see stuff happening in Atlanta, stuff happening everywhere, where it's like you got to be cautious of everything. Yeah, you got to. That's for sure. That was, that was. I mean, it was something that they were taught all the way growing up. So that shit, it's just something natural. Yeah. You feel me? Like, especially where you come, when, where you, if you from Memphis, oh, yeah. or from a city or like where I'm from, like, like I said, I ain't number twenty minutes to get around the city. So, and then like I ain't know what a couple clubs, probably one club. Every week popping, everybody goes to the same club. So you feel me? There's only so much shit you can do. And yeah. so it's it's a way you gotta move when you're a certain person. Yeah, boy, some shit gonna go down. That's facts. What 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 do you feel um and what do y'all feel Memphis need more of? Is it producers? Is it is it record labels? Is it I mean what is it studios? What does it need more of to to really make a footprint in this game? I mean it's already made the footprint, but to really just take it over. I ain't gonna lie, light, light, really, cause it's a whole lot of motherfuckers out of Memphis bumping. It's just, everybody so caught up in the street shit, like, I ain't gonna lie, I don't, I don't know, bro. Like, a young motherfucker, like, you really think it's, a nigga wanna go get some money for it, like, all you gotta do is put a gun in their hand, you feel me? They straight with it. Nice. You don't wanna get no background no more, you feel me? That shit crazy, that shit crazy. Memphis got the wave right now. Yeah, they want to say because the lights are coming on us. You feel me? The lights are coming on us. But like I said, all we need is the light. You feel they going to see because we got air. It's so many needs around them motherfuckers jumping and bumping. Like, I don't know what to say. Nah, for real, for real. Mucho, I got to find out, man. What uh, what, what, what gelato you, 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 you smoked before you pulled up, man? Goddamn. What, 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 <laughs> nigga, what? Nigga, what 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 good what, what what pack what, what pack you was able to hit? You got the big moochie grape pack. Yeah, you got the moochie grape pack. What's the name? Yeah, what's the name? For real, for real, talk about the shit, man. Man, for those that are uh, fans, man, as far as telling what y'all got up next, man. Uh, what do y'all have up next? And uh, again, niggas look up to you. I just want y'all to give advice to some young. Go get the office. motherfucking money, nigga. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. Rule Keep number one, go get the money. Rule number two, go get the money. Rule number three, don't forget to go get the money. Fuck you talking about. That's how it is. Fuck you talking about. One three. <laughs> go get the motherfucking money, man. Um, and lastly, before we check out, man, if uh, you know, Dolph, man, again, he's the guy, bro, and uh, for everything that he did for the city and everything that he even turned up for PRE and just the movement going forward. Uh, personally, man, what do y'all feel like he would be happy and just proud to see of what y'all doing, you know? With man, this? go and get the motherfucking money, man. Oh, <laughs> check it out. Ah, talk about the shit. <laughs> Real life motherfucking street stars. <laughs>